since the COVID pandemic has hit, the number of cruise ships being sold off and dismantled for scrap has drastically increased. In this episode, we take a look at the casualties and predict some other cruise ships that might be sold off and scrapped soon. The sad news is your favourite cruise ship may never be back. Well, well ahoy there, there cruisers. cruisers. Welcome to this video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there below. Go on guys, do it. We need you to keep subscribing so we can keep producing more videos just like this one. As you already know, the coronavirus pandemic has meant cruise lines are losing millions of dollars every day. One big way to combat this and get some money back is to sell off some of those less reliable and more costly cruise ships to run. So far the pandemic, 26 ships have been scrapped or sold. How crazy is that? 26, David. That's a crazy number and it's so sad as well at the same time. Usually cruise ships have more than 40 years of life in them. Sometimes older ships are sold off for another company to use, but it's rare for newer cruise ships to be sent to scrap. But in these uncertain times, ships built in the mid 90s have even been scrapped and there's even a waiting list for cruise ships to be dismantled around the world. Maintaining cruise ships that aren't in use is very expensive, so many cruise companies are selling parts of their fleet for scrap. Luckily, for some of the newer ships, they're not going to be scrapped just yet. They've been saved. They've been sold off to other cruise companies around the world. So let's take a look at which ships have been scrapped or sold, how and where they're scrapped, and which ones could be next. First up, the Carnival Corporation, the company that owns lines such as Princess, Carnival Cruises, Holland America, Cunard, P&O, have announced that 19 of their ships would be sold off and removed from service. That is a whopping 13% of their entire fleet. So let's take a look at some of these casualties. First up from Carnival Cruise Line. So far, the Carnival Fantasy built in 1990, Carnival Fascination 1994, Imagination 1995, and Inspiration built in 1996 have all been sold off. And unfortunately, all but Carnival Fascination have been scrapped and it looks likely that that ship will be scrapped again soon. All of these ships were built in the 90s and they were revolutionary when they first came out. They provided some of the much needed competition to lines like Royal Caribbean. They were proper good ships. The interiors though were over the top, wacky and very unique as you know to Carnival, different to anything else that was at sea. And as you can see, these ships are mostly under 30 years old, shaving over 10 years off their normal lifespan. So other Carnival Corporation ships to be sold include Sun and Sea Princess from Princess Cruises. We also think it will make sense for Princess to sell off Pacific Princess in the near future, as it's a one of a kind ship. And for Holland America, there's the Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Veendam, and Mastam. Oceana from Pre and All Cruises UK was sold as well. And some of these ships have found new life with other companies such as the British cruise line Fred Olsen and Greek cruise line Celestial. Wow, so many ships there, guys. Have you sailed on any of them ships? Let us know in the comments section below. And one story that's just came out this week and is super sad and talking about those newer ships being scrapped. The youngest comes from Costa Cruises, who are an Italian company and also a carnival cruise company. The Costa Victoria was only built in 1996, so she's so much younger than many of the other cruise ships, and she's not even been sold off. She's been sold for scraps. How sad is that? Yeah, that is crazy. 24 years old. That's crazy. That is crazy, but these ships, like you said, are so expensive to keep running, and if there's nobody else that wants to take them, it's the only other option. Absolutely. And we know that there's still at least four other ships from the Carnival Corporation fleet that will be sold off or scrapped. We just don't know which ones they are yet, but as soon as we're here, we'll let you know. So next up we have Royal Caribbean. During the pandemic, this pandemic, they strongly denied that any ships would be sold off, but that changed as the pandemic went on. I can't say pandemic. 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 The ships that have been sold off are the Majesty of the Seas, which was built in 1992, Empress of the Seas, built in 1990, I can't say built then, <laughs> and also ex Royal Caribbean ships, the Sovereign, which was built in 88, and the Monarch, which was built in 1991, have been scrapped. These ships were mainly built for shorter three and four day Caribbean cruises. 
Empress and Majesty were particular favourites with cruisers. When built, they were some of the most groundbreaking ships at sea. They were smaller, had more intimate areas on board, and it's sad because Empress was only refitted with brand new features and given a stem to stir makeover back in 2016. Majesty of the Seas still won fans with its classic design and introduced thousands of people to cruising thanks to its more affordable itineraries. They were really popular guys, real fan favourites in the industry. Yeah, the good news is that these two ships, Majesty and Empress, have only been sold off at the moment, so it hasn't been confirmed they're going to be scrapped, so fingers crossed we see them with another cruise line. Sovereign of the Seas debuted back in 1988. At the time, it was an icon of modern day cruising. It was the first, the world's first mega ship. It ushered in a brand new era of cruise vacationing that continues to this day. So it's so sad to see her going without any fanfare, just quietly sailing off into the night to be scrapped. How bad's that? Very poetic there though. Ben, though. I know. So that's all the sovereign ships now gone from the Royal Caribbean fleet. And it's crazy Sad. to think, like you said at the time, they were seen as like mega ships, but then I guess you compare them to what we've got now, yeah. and they're practically little dinghies, aren't they? Yeah. So as far as other Royal Caribbean ships being sold in the future, we predict that there is a few that might be in danger, mainly the grandeur of the seas and the rhapsody of the seas. We think these could be up for sale shortly or even going for scrap. So it's very sad, isn't it? It is sad. One of the cruise lines that has been hit particularly hard by the pandemic is CMV, also known as Columbus Maritime Voyages. They were a UK based cruise line with five cruise ships. Unfortunately, the company went bust in the summer of 2020 as a direct consequence of what is going on, meaning that all five ships have been sold and some have been scrapped. Marco Polo and Astor have been confirmed to be scrapped, but the others don't look like they have a bright future just because they're quite old ships. Yeah, and just because they're old, Ben, doesn't mean that they're not loved. These ships, again, were really popular with cruise fans. Yeah, and set the way for modern cruising. Some other notable ships that have been sold or due to be scrapped include from Morella Cruises, the Morella Dream and the Morella Celebration, from p &O Australia, the Pacific Dawn, from Fred Olsen, the Black Watch and the Boudicca. Isn't it Boudicca? Is it Boudicca? It might be Boudicca. Isn't it like... Um, it's Boudicca or Boudicca. What's... It's the middle name of the Vicar of Dibley. Oh well, the Boudicca slash Boudicca, however you pronounce it. So David, how are these ships scrapped and where are they scrapped? Because it must be a big business. Yeah, this isn't just like taking your car down to the local scrapping plant. These ships need to be scrapped in Asia or Turkey at specialist plants. It is a huge job, but it's lucrative business as almost everything on the ship is recycled, reused or resold. The ship recycling industry supplies more than 40% of the world's raw material needs. That's crazy. That is crazy. Almost half. And it generates 600 million plus tonnes of recyclables every year with a revenue of over $200 billion. That's crazy. So ship scrapping means providing raw materials to steel mills, steel plate reef manufacturing, second-hand furniture, electrical equipment, oils and lubricants. It's crazy, isn't it? It is, but just imagine how big these ships are and oh, what is yeah. in them. So you've got to think that is a lot of raw material there. Yeah, and it must be a super hard job to, to get all of those materials separated and everything. Yep. I mean, you've seen on the news loads of pictures of ships being beached, purpose-driven at speed onto a beach or land for scrapping. But this isn't the most environmentally friendly way. Dry docking a ship and demolishing it there is faster by 50% as well as being much safer and environmentally friendly with no risk of oil spillage into the sea. So it's really unfortunate to see ships being beached as that has a risk to maritime life as well as the ocean as well. But in contrast to that Ben, could it be a good thing for the environment that these ships have been taken offline? Yeah, I mean, classic ships, as you know, might be great and have a lovely history and be beloved by many people, but many of them don't have newer technology on board, a less environmentally friendly that some of the newer ships have. Yeah, newer ships are safer, cheaper to run and much better for the environment. It's going to be really nice to be able to choose from some more modern, cutting-edge ships with the best and greatest technology. Yeah, and as you said earlier, a lot of these ships were planned to be phased out, but just not so soon. They've just ramped everything up. So it's very sad. Do let us know if you've sailed on any of these ships or if you have any predictions for ships that might be sold. 
that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please do hit that subscribe button. We've got so much fantastic content coming on the way, guys. So please stick with us. We need all of your support at the moment. Yes, every subscribe helps. Thank you as well to all of our Patreons. It's because of your help that we can keep these videos going. I wonder Thank what you're you so doing much. them for a second. Heartbeats, heartbeats. And the captain of the week is Louisa. So ahoy there, Ahoy. Louisa. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.